This is hopefully going to be a short video showing you how to get Google Wallet working on your HTC One. Now, I do have a custom ROM installed, but you don't have to have one. But root access is definitely recommended, and I have a video on how to unlock and how to root. First of all, you're going to need Modaco's uh, toolkit, which I just did a video on and it's gonna be uploading here shortly. By the time you see this video, it'll probably be already online and I'll have a link to it in the description of this video. So you also need the exposed installer. If you don't have that, then your Google Wallet's gonna say that you have an unsupported device because you have root access. Now yes, it will still work even though you're rooted, but it just looks a lot cleaner in my honest opinion, not having that unsupported device thing show up every time you open Google Wallet. So open up the Mendaco Toolkit and then you're going to go down here until you see Google. It's at the very top. Then you're going to see Download Wallet APK. And then it starts to download instantly. It's going to download. Now, if we open up Google Chrome. And we search for the Google Wallet APK and you click on it. We'll open it with the Play Store. And you'll see that it says this device isn't compatible with this version. So as of the moment, you can't in just install the Play Store, uh, Google Wallet from the Play Store. So now that it's downloaded, we can just press on it. If it says settings, you'll need to go to uh, drag this down, hit that, go to security, and check the unknown sources, press OK, and then go back to your downloads. You might need to install something like ES File Explorer and navigate to your downloads folder. Click on Google Wallet. Uh, actually, let me show you that. All right, so in case your thing said go to settings, basically it's going to take you to here and then security and then unknown sources right here. That's going to be unchecked by default. You'll want to check it, press OK, and then you'll open up something like ES File Explorer, which is a free file browser. Go to your download folder where it should be and then press on it and then choose install. And then just give it a second. Press open. And it's going to take a little bit to initiate and set up. And you'll just, if you have multiple accounts, you'll just choose which one you want. And it's going to ask you to put in your password. And then once you put it in, it's going to sign in. You're just going to hit get started now. Unsupported device right there. It's going to ask you to set up a pin. Just any four let numbers will work. And once you type it in, it's going to say, please re-enter it. And then you should be good to go. And then there you go. It still says unsupported. It's going to bring up your card here in a moment. That's This is how you fix that. You go to the Modaco Toolkit again, right here. And then under the Google setting, there will be this one that says disable wallet checks. Going to clear out all of our open tasks. And then go back to Google Wallet. And it doesn't say unsupported. Check that out. No unsupported at the top. How awesome is that? Again, it'll work fine if it says unsupported. But, I mean, come on. Who wants to stare at that every time they open up Google Wallet? So that's how you install Google Wallet and disable that annoying freaking unsupported device thing. Huge thanks to Paul O'Brien for putting together the Modaco Toolkit. It's pretty freaking awesome. It's got tons of other features. Again, I can link to the video I just did, and it'll walk through all the other features available. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on the HTC One, Galaxy S4, and etc., please subscribe. Got many more videos coming soon. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.